Let's try some density problems. Determine the density of a substance X. And let's assume this substance X is a solid. In your lab, you have this sample of substance X. And being that it's a solid, you could easily place the sample on a balance and you determine the mass to be 5 grams. And you're ingenious in that you used water displacement to measure the volume of the solid sample. And you found that it displaced water by 1 milliliter. So therefore, the volume of the sample is 1 milliliter. Now, to determine the density, let's remind ourselves of the definition of density. Density is equal to mass over volume. And the units used for solids and liquids are grams and milliliters. So in the problem where you're asked to determine the density, you need to be given both the mass and the volume of a particular sample. So in this case, we simply plug the numbers into the equation, and that our mass is 5.00, and our volume is 1.00 milliliters. And therefore the density is simply 5.000 grams per milliliter. Now remember from your conversions that a milliliter is equal to exactly one cubic centimeter. So milliliters and cubic centimeters are the same. So for a solid it might be more palatable, if you will, if we write 5.000 grams per cubic centimeter. Either one of these are correct. It all depends on how comfortable you are using grams per mil or grams per cubic centimeter. It also depends on the problem that you're discussing. So that's the first kind of density problem, is to simply calculate the density using given information that was determined in the lab. Next, we have a problem we're asked to determine the volume of a particular sample of n. So, in this kind of a problem where we're asked to determine the volume given a particular mass of a substance, we could use density as a conversion factor. So, let's start off with 20 grams of substance X. 20.000 grams of substance X. Now I need to convert this mass quantity to a volume quantity and I need to convert. So I'm going to use density as a conversion factor. So using the skill of dimensional analysis if I'm going to do a conversion, I'm going to put grams in the denominator because I want to get out of the gram world and enter the volume world. And this, the volume world in this case is centimeters cubed. Well, I know that density relates volume to mass in grams. So I'm going to use this item here to help me out. the density in the units of grams per cubic centimeter. But what I'm going to do is reciprocate that number. So the 5.0000 goes in the denominator. And I have one cubic centimeter in the numerator. So math on the units is done. So I have cubic centimeters left. And now math on the numbers is 20 divided by divided by 5. And so that's 4. In this case, 4.000. 0, 0, 0. 
and the units are centimeters cubed. So we've seen how we use density as a conversion factor to convert us from the mass world to the volume world. Very important application for density. One final problem using density as a conversion factor is to determine the mass of a substance given a volume. So in this case, if we're given 10 cubic centimeters of substance X, and we're asked to determine the, uh, the mass. So we can use dimensional analysis to start us off. 10.00 cubic centimeters and I immediately write cubic centimeters in the denominator. Make sure I cancel that out but now the question is what's the conversion factor? Well we see density was used as a conversion factor before so we'll use it again. In this case we'll just use this conversion factor or this value of the density as written. So 5.000 grams per one cubic centimeter. And the answer here is math on the units is done, and math on the numbers is 5 times 10. So it's 50.00 grams.